Hi, and welcome to the Mitel Visual Workflow Manager IVR Callflow Diagramming Overview Demonstration. In this video, we'll look at IVR writing Callflow programming. Callflows are the pathways that colors use to reach all areas and individuals within your organization. They also dictate the prompts that colors hear and queue, the input requested by the IVR system, and the options available for writing calls through the system. One of the core features of Visual Workflow Manager is that it enables users to program complex IVR call flows using an intuitive Microsoft Visio-like drag-and-drop user interface. There are three main types of call flows in Visual Workflow Manager, RAD call flows, voice call flows, and management call flows. Using Visual Workflow Manager, users can drag and drop all IVR related activities, such as transfers, database lookups, interactive menus, verify collected digits, and writing conditions, onto a call flow palette in order to visually build a call flow. Let's take a look at how this works. We begin in Your Site Explorer. From the Visual Workflow Manager pane on the left side of Your Site Explorer, we'll select a call flow and add a new voice call flow to the system. We'll give that call flow a name and a system name, in this example, inbound and inbound call flow. We'll then drag an answer activity and a play activity onto the call flow palette. We'll specify a greeting prompt, in this example, a welcome message to play when the IVR system answers a call. We'll then bring an interactive menu onto the call flow palette, specify a prompt for the menu to play, expand the interactive menu, and begin programming the options available to callers. Now, we'll add a digit pattern, the numbers that are pressed by a caller in order to navigate a call flow menu. In this example, the digits 1 and 2. Then, we'll add a transfer activity into the branch for when a caller presses 1 and give the transfer a name and a system name, in this example, sales. This activity will enable callers that press 1 during the interactive menu to be transferred to a sales queue. We'll then copy and paste that activity to the second digit pattern within the interactive menu. This time, though, we'll transfer to a support queue. We'll give the transfer a name and a system name and specify the queue to which the call will be transferred. We'll then specify a play activity and a transfer activity in order to play a message to callers and transfer the call to an alternate answering point in the event that the transfer fails. We'll select a prompt that will notify users they are being transferred to the operator and then add a transfer, giving that transfer a name and a system name and specifying the call destination, in this case a dial zero queue in order to reach the operator. We'll then copy that condition back to the sales transfer within the interactive menu, specify a hunt group to answer the transfer, and save the call flow. We now have a call flow programmed to answer calls, play a welcome greeting, and provide callers with an interactive menu to reach either a sales or a support queue. In the event that the transfers do not succeed, callers will be played a message notifying them that they are being transferred to the operator before the call is then transferred to the operator. Thank you for watching this video. To find out more about Mitel IVR routing and the Visual Workflow Manager application, visit mitel.com.